Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. I'm a fashion designer and online instructor. And today we're gonna to go back to the 60s and make it modern. Remember the color block dress? So simple, but so classic. Here I have a dress. This is just a very simple sheath dress with princess seams. And the only thing I did was create new seams so I can add panels of different color. So here's a panel. There's a seam through here. It's hard to see on the black, but I did also on the sleeve, on the bottom. And then, of course, I had to add the new modern exposed zipper, which is really fun. So let me show you how easy it is. I've shown you how to do color blocking before, but it was a very complicated design. So let's do something very simple, just like this dress here. I'm gonna take this dress and I'm gonna lay it the same way that my pattern is, and we're gonna copy this design. So what you need to do first is find a pattern. You should really fit it first to make sure it fits before you create all of this, cut it apart. But here's the back of my dress. And what I've done is I've taken, just this is just paper, I've traced this pattern out because you need two sides to work on. So there's the back, and we're gonna work on the front. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. Here's my front piece, which would normally be cut on the fold, and I've already traced that out as well. So we have one full piece to work on. And the only thing I've transferred over are my darts. You would also wanna transfer over your notches. I didn't do it here, but, and your grain line, which is right along the fold. So whatever style you want, if you find a photo you like, color blocking is really in style again. So find a photo you like, and I'll explain how you figure out what to do with this. So first on the picture here, we have a line that goes across. The one thing you need to keep in mind is when you draw a line, you're gonna draw the line exactly the way you would sew it. So I don't wanna draw a line specifically to the middle of the chest area and stop. I wanna have full lines just like that. So let's start at the top line. This looks like it's about mid-shoulder. I'm gonna line this ruler up so the line is perpendicular to the grain line and just give myself a nice line. Actually, I'll use pink because I think you'll see it better. All right, so this line right here is this line right here. And it looks like there's a line right down the center. So I can do this line next because I'm stopping in the center, but I have a seam right here. So in sewing order, I'm gonna sew this piece to this piece right here first, okay? Now we, let's keep going. It looks like there's a line right below the waist. Well, you can tell your waist, even if it's not marked, most patterns are marked where your proximate waistline is. This looks like the waist because it indents right through here. So let's slide down a little bit to the hip area. Again, drawing a line that's perpendicular to the grain line. Good line, and let's give ourselves one more line down at the hem. Say about right here. That looks great. So if we were to take the picture and compare it, we have this line drawn, the lower waist, and the upper chest. So the last thing we need is one line that goes all the way down this side. I like this look. A lot of my dresses are very symmetrical, meaning that everything is even on both sides. I really like this look where it's different on one side. So let's just move over here. Now, if you have a bust dart, here we have a bust dart. We don't have a princess seam. So I'm going to just move over just a little bit further so my line doesn't cross right across this dart. I could also end it right here, and that way I could actually close that dart, but that's getting a little more complicated. We're trying to make this really simple. Give myself a line all the way down. Okay, this line right here is this line. Now you've probably seen me do this before, but this is so simple. I give myself some hashtags, and this tells me when I cut this piece apart to add seam allowances to this area. If you can't remember, then write a big note to yourself, add seam allowance, because if you forget, when you sew these together, your dress is gonna be shorter and skinnier. So these are all giving myself a note. Okay. Now, notice this dart right here. I could technically move that line over a little bit. I'm not going to right now, but if I was paying a little more attention, I probably would have had that line 
just like that, all the way down. Because then I can just make the seam, curve the seam a little bit and get rid of that dart, instead of having a dart right next to your seam. Okay, does that make sense? So pay attention to where your darts are. I'll pay better attention the next time. So here we have one, and it looks like this is color number one, and two is color number two. So you can write white. Some people like to use colored pencils to color in the area to see what it looks like. So you're gonna mark the number, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Those are all of your pattern pieces. Do either take a photo of this or draw this out so you know when all this is cut apart which piece goes where. It's pretty simple with the larger design, but it can still get confusing. Okay, decide what order you're gonna sew this in. Now with that dress, you see the black. You, can, you could add a black panel, but I'm gonna show you a really easy way just to add ribbon through this area to make it look like you added a panel. So once we cut this apart, these two will sew together, these two will sew together, these two, and then sew each one across, okay? So let me show you one that I've already started to put together. Actually, before I get to that one, I saved this from the dress behind me. This is the pattern piece for the sleeve. So here was the sleeve, just one band of color, and this is the pattern. All I did was cut a strip, and then when I cut this apart, I told myself to add seam allowances. I numbered the pieces. Very simple to do. All right, so here is a top. This is what this pattern looked like. You can see I wrote what color I wanted and I numbered the pieces. I'll leave this so you can compare both of them. Here's the top, very cute. This time I was paying attention and my seam goes right next to that dart. So I don't have a dart going half on this side and half on that side. And also what I have here is ribbon. This is just simple ribbon. Nothing special about it. It's soft though, make sure you don't pick something stiff. The one thing you need to keep in mind is which ribbon do you put on first? Because I've already sewn my whole top together, then we're top stitching the ribbon. If I were to add this ribbon here, I would have a raw edge on top. So again, you have to plan out what you're sewing first. Let's take a look at one that's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna use a bigger trim. Notice my pattern's all sewn together. Here's my ribbon and here's a raw edge. That's okay because this is gonna be sewn on right here. Great. And this is gonna be sewn on. So my raw edges are actually going into the seam. So the last one we need to fill in is this little hole right here. Again, if I were to go like this, I'm gonna have a raw edge, and this stuff will fray. So instead, I'd wanna sew this on first, and then this. And you can do this throughout your entire design, on the shoulders, and it's very simple. So let's go to the sewing machine, and I'm just gonna give you a few tips on adding ribbon. So there's a few things you need to be careful of because when you're attaching the ribbon, it could scrunch or it could stretch the fabric. Another thing I wanna point out, if you look closely at this ribbon, I'm using white because I thought it would be easier for you to see, but if you remember that dress design, it was black, which there wouldn't be any problem. But this is white, or if you used a really light cream, I can actually see the green fabric and the blue fabric through that. So I'm using this so you can see it, and I'm gonna use green thread, even worse. But when you're doing this design, make sure you pick a darker color ribbon or be considerate of what colors are down below. So I'm setting up my machine for a straight stitch and I'm gonna use a 3.0 length. Again, I'm gonna use a contrasting color. I have a camera feature, so I'll actually be able to see the ribbon as I'm sewing. I'm gonna line the bottom half up with this seam, and all I'm doing is centering this right here. You really don't need to pin it. Okay, I can see on this camera right where my stitch is gonna go. All right, get to the end. And that's all I'm doing is just a simple stitch. You really don't even need to back stitch. So if you don't, it's okay because you're gonna have a ribbon over this. But I have mine set up to just automatically do that. Okay, again. All right, that was a little bit messy. 
I would be a little more particular than that. But here's our second strip. And now this is one I really want to show you. I'm going to turn this off because it's a little distracting. I want to show you what I do because the fabric stretches this way. So I'm going to just lean forward. Don't stretch your fabric. Hold your ribbon right on here. So I'm actually holding the ribbon to the fabric and stitch. Now what I'm doing is I'm holding the ribbon to the fabric so the fabric's not stretching and the ribbon's not stretching, feeding in more fabric. Either way is not good. So what I'm trying to do is hold, lay this flat. I'm just holding the ribbon, lining it up in the center and stitching. Again, you really don't need pins for this. If you use pins, that sometimes causes wrinkles because it's gonna squish up your ribbon. And I'm gonna stitch across here and let's see what we have. Now, from this point forward, I'm gonna do a bad example for you. I'm just gonna stretch this just a little bit so you'll see the bad example. This would be if I'm holding the ribbon and I'm just gonna let all that fabric feed under which is a no-no in case you grab some coffee and miss that last statement. So I have a good example and a bad example on here. Even if you have a t-shirt or something you wanna restyle, this is perfect to do. You could cut up the t-shirt, add ribbon, or just add ribbon to it and make it look like it's color blocked.